Dear Lord, Father, thank you for Deaf Church. Pray for the sermon. Help your word. Your word will. But we need to have hearts that are open. Help us ready, accept, and believe your word. Love you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Alright, so today is Monday. Today. It's also just letting you all know. It's our last last sermon in this series about evangelism. So finally we're gonna end it. We're gonna start something new next week in June. So That means we have to do our testimonies soon. Well we're gonna keep on with that. With, okay. our, with, our, okay. with the film testimonies, we're gonna keep on with that. We're okay. not you know, all the no no no, we're gonna keep on with that, but it's just time to change our focus a little bit in five months. <laughs> So, because I started preaching this really last Sunday, December. So, evangelism. So, but we're still going to be filming those testimonies. We're going to be doing that ready. Um, but today, Memorial Day. And, you know, I know, you know, today is a day to honor soldiers mm -hmm. that have died. And so, and some of you all, your family died in war. So, yeah, we need to make sure we honor them, and, um, yeah, so, but you notice, though, you know, like, when you see a movie that has soldiers in it, you know, sometimes it'll be, like, one soldier who runs out, you know, like, Rambo, you know, runs out and just himself all alone, you know, you know, so, really, soldiers, not like that, work together, right, work, one person can go fight alone, can't, right, so, just the same, our church um, has walked through Bethlehem. You all, I think most of you all, maybe you haven't yet. You have you been to walk through Bethlehem? Walk through Bethlehem. Walk through. You, you've been. You were here? Walk through. It's Christmas time. You Maybe you haven't yet. So, hey, you're going to be in surprise for December. Oh, okay. It's loud. <laughs> so, but a lot of work walked through Bethlehem, right? You all seen, you know, getting ready for Christmas drama. They have people who come. They they help build, you know, the walls. And they have people who come who decorate. And then people come, and there are people here that night, the day working, parking, you know, you know, like that. And then there's people, you know, people, you know. People who wait, there's people who, you know, and then there's people, there's actors in the city, and at the end, there's people cooking. Work involved. One person alone can't. Right? And just the same, you know, you all remember, like, um, like for example, like after the hurricane, you know, people work together, right? You know, bring water, food, different, different, help people, you know, power, not work together. I had to do <laughs> evangelism. You see the world. How many people? What now? Like seven billion people? That's a lot of people, right? Oh, God, maybe it's seven and a half billion now. I don't know. That's a lot of people on earth. Do you think all, every single one of them, needs to be saved? All of them. That's a lot of work. That's alone. It's impossible, right? One person can't. So, which is the point for our topic. I know that title doesn't really match that idea, working together. I'm going to explain that later. But the idea for today is we need to work together. You know, one person alone can't. You know, that might work school like now, this year, next week. Next week finished, I success one year, teacher. Yes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. when this year, uh, next week finish, I'm summertime. Your last day is Tuesday. I don't know. I was going to say, you're not going Wednesday. I was going to say, students' last day is Wednesday, should, unless they skip. Why do you test? You're done, you're done with your test. Yeah, many of my students, no test, they don't show up. Uh, but, you know, School year soon finished, and you know, it works in yeah. school for like, you know, group projects. What happens? You know, there'll be 
a group, you know, one kid, you know, works hard, the other kids, <laughs> you know, you've seen before, like school, like high school, you were, mm. you are the, you were the hard worker, right? <laughs> Maybe not one. You were the one who, you work hard, perfect, with you. <laughs> oh, joke, joke. <laughs> and so, but no, you know, always that one person oh, works hard, other people, lazy, right? Yeah, they take advantage, and then, hey, hey. <laughs> Nothing. And so, that does not work. If we want to see people get saved, that doesn't work. Right? We need to work together. We need, and part of working together, just like, you know, normally with a good group, what happens, you know, for projects or school? You know, one person says, all right, I'm going to do her part. I'm going to do second part. And they divide it up, right? And they do part, 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 and they come together and together. That's the right way for group project, right? So that's the same should for evangelism, for witnessing. We all have part can do. Me alone? Everybody? Can't. One person. Everybody Daytona Beach? Can't. One person. Too many people. There's like, what? 500,000 people mm. in Volusia okay. County, Something. I think. So there's a lot of people there. And I think that includes Orange City. There's a lot of people. Me alone, can't. We all do part, 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 part. All responsible for it. Part, 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 part. So we need to work together. And that means lazy, evangelism, can't. All responsible. Do our part. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Right, that's no good. We need to be uh -uh. Right, right. Divided, mm -hmm. waste time. It's true. Uh -huh. So, we need to work uh -huh. together, do our part, our role, you know. Uh -huh. More like a play, you know. You can't have just one actor, like in a movie, have one actor, you know. Do everything, you can't. So, you need to have actors. Right? So, you know, people need to work together. Same with well, evangelism. We all need to do it. That's actually the blank. Which I know many of you all finish, but we all must do a role. And he says, verse 37, he says, what do you got? There it is. And then he said unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Plenteous means there's a lot. There's a lot. But the workers are few. Say, look, there's so much. But the workers there, no. So now, Jesus is using a comparison here. So I want you to, what? Farm field, okay? I don't know what, we'll say, we're in Florida, we'll say an orange, orange grove, okay? Oranges. And you can see all the orange, right? Ready. Right? So that's the idea, there's a field ready. But the workers, where? Because one person 
can't too much. You know, so farmers got many ready, ready to a little can. So we got there's other workers come up. That that's the big picture. Now, for God, what? Well, test souls, people souls, people harvesting people witnessing when they get saved. Harvesting souls. God wants us to go. And I think now, five months clear, God wants us to witness. Share Jesus. Share our faith. So but one person alone? Impossible. We need to work together. Do our role. Our part. Our go. Witness. Spread. Many, many people need. Many people need. But few go. God wants people to get saved. And that's actually the next hang on. This is important. There's a lot of work. A few workers. True. Again, he said the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers few. Few people, especially you think for reaching people death. We <laughs> workers. You. I remember myself to college, you know, me, maybe you all don't know. I went to college 2008. I went to college. Me? I didn't know any sign language. Not, oh, I knew A, B, C. That's it. Not D E F, no, no, A B C. That's it. I didn't know sign language, none. Boom! I didn't know really? any sign language, but but I went to college. I started learning sign. Oh, you know, I got involved deaf ministry there at Jacksonville Trinity Baptist Church. There, got involved. Oh. So, but you know, my my plan was I want to become youth pastor, which good. Yeah, you know, we need. Youth pastors. We need it's important, important. You know, my youth pastors influenced me a lot. So I thought, oh, I want the same. So my plan becomes youth pastor. But I was going through college at the same time I was learning sign language, you know, enjoying it. And so I'm just going along and it finally hit me. I kinda stepped back and I thought, there's a lot, a lot of people who want to become youth pastors that will become youth pastors. That become good youth pastors. Well, I thought there's many of them, but people who want to work deaf, reach deaf, one, two, three, maybe. Pew. And I thought, well, where? Hey, here, yeah, it's not better here. Nobody. So reaching deaf, very few people go try to reach deaf. So it's sad. That's that's the reason me. Oh, deaf ministry. I saw so much need. And at that time, I've been studying sign two, three years, I think. Two, three years. So I was already, you know, good. So looking back, not good. But that time, I was like, oh, I'm wonderful. <laughs> so, but, you know, I would communicate. I knew death and thought, you know, there's few people go reach death. I thought, why not me? And so, for witnessing, few people out witnessing to the deaf. Why not you? So God wants to use you. And God uses us different, different, different ways. People witness. Now, God wants all to witness. It's true. But we witness different, different ways. Some people better, you know, discussion. of sitting down, discussion. Some people better, you know, just walking up. You want to talk about Jesus? You know, some people better that way. Some people better... Share my story, you know, the testimony. Share different, different, different. That's fine. It's good because different ways better for different people, right? So not everybody. Fit. No, sometimes it doesn't work. Other person later 
try some. See, that's fine. It's good. But we need to make sure we witness our way. In the Bible, it's really cool. The Bible gives us good advice how we can do our part. How we witness who witness more how. God gave us advice right here in the Bible. Isn't that cool? Awesome. The Bible gives us advice. So how? What should we do? First. Look hard. Right. <laughs> well, for this topic, witness, witnessing, witness, serving God, hard. That's our topic, which you always witness. So, working hard. Look, verse 35. Verse 35 says, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages. Vill we were talking about signs. Village, villages, villages, small city. That's what it means. Villages, villages, whatever. All the, all the cities, the small cities, that. So, uh, and villages teaching in their their synagogues. That, that means synagogues, place that Jews go and worship God. That. So he's teaching them in all the synagogues and villages, preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. So Jesus, he's out teaching and healing people and helping people and he's traveling. Hard work. You can just think the traveling, you know, now, you know, you get tired. Yeah, now driving, you know, you get tired, you know, all that, you know, you get tired even just driving places now. Because I thought, you know, one time me and Michelle, forget when, we were traveling somewhere, and we were driving, and maybe it was Missouri, and I thought, you know, I'm tired. I should not be tired from driving. I'm sitting here. <laughs> Easy. I'm not, like, walking. I'm not, like, walking. Uh, I'm sitting. I should not be tired. And we were talking, just like, it's your mind. Yeah. Your mind is tired. Not your mind. Your mind is tired. Mm -hmm. It's true. You know, even driving, we get tired. Back then, they didn't have cars. What did they do? <laughs> oh. Walk, walk. Maybe if they're lucky, you know, they rode a donkey. You know, is it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not comfortable. They did not have shocks on donkeys. No. Mm -hmm. So, not comfortable. If there was water, what they do? They took a boat. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hard to travel, and they're traveling, and while they're traveling, they're teaching. That's hard, also. Not easy teaching. Now I know I'm expert. I taught one year. No, I'm just kidding. But hard work teaching. Hard. They're teaching. They're preaching, and then they're healing. Jesus healing people. You know, people. Hard ah, work. Yeah, they're with. Well, that's that's right. That's my point. That's my point. I'm jumping ahead. But you're right. For us witnessing, we should work hard. We see Jesus work hard. We should copy Jesus. It's a good idea. Always, always. Copy Jesus, always. So, but hard. We should do the same. Serve Him. Now, of course, we need right relationship with God. We need to make sure that we take care of our bodies. Of course, you know, even Jesus, He would believe. Go off alone and pray and talk to God. That's important. So, but there's time for that for rest. There's time for work. And Jesus, his time for work, he worked hard. So he was busy. We need to do the same. We need to work hard. Spread the gospel. We need to be willing to talk anytime. Tell people about Jesus. That Jesus saves, can. We need to be busy and do working hard. And we see Jesus did that. He worked 
very hot. Well, you do the same. Maybe uh, that means, yeah, you know, I could, you know, uh, you know, I could stay at home or I could go to church and serve. But I went to church on Sunday. Better stay home today. Or maybe you say, no, no, it's important. Go back to church, serve, you know, like think, walk through Bethlehem time. It's busy. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A lot of work. You know, could stay home. No, important. You go. Serve God. So when I know walk through Bethlehem far oh, December, but it's going to come <laughs> So. So. <laughs> Mm, that's true, just like kids. The time goes fast. Mm. <laughs> so soon, Oliver right, will be four. Oh. I know, yeah, next month he turns four. <laughs> so, um, But working hard. Time short. So, working hard. Second, mm. caring. 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 Look at verse 36. 36. But when he saw the multitudes, he, Jesus, he was compassion on them because they fainted, were scattered abroad, and she having no shepherd. <laughs> so Jesus looked at these people, they're tired, they've been following him. Exhausted, and Jesus, you can imagine, you know, Jesus, I mean, he would have been, would have been kind of young at this time. He would have been about 30, 31, 30, about in his 30s. And, you know, more, maybe, maybe old, young, I don't, I don't know. But they're tired, and they're trying to follow him. And he, oh, they're scattered, like, no leader, nothing. He, many times, we got the idea of happy Jesus again. Always. But again, you know, Jesus, his compassion. He saw it. It's easy. Sometimes it becomes easy to just kind of look at people. Stop. Stop. You know, we stop compassion on people. No, we need to continue. We so not just see people and just kind of, no. Notice people need help, need prayer. Look and notice compassion. People, it's important. Compassion. Jesus cared for them. And then last, prayer. <coughs> so, you know, prayer for me. We need a lot. <laughs> so look at verse thirty-eight. <laughs> Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he may send forth laborers into his harvest. That brings us back to the title, right? No. Pray to the Lord of the harvest. Pray to him. Send new workers. Not enough workers. Uh, without prayer, <coughs> Not going to improve. It's not going to happen. Um, we need to pray to the harvest. So it's important we understand that it's not our work. So just like I told you, to, the farmer, remember, and he's ready. He's got all the food ready to harvest, but 
all alone. He needs to hire others. That's us. And God, us. So, it's his harvest. It's his. So, we are the workers. So, we need to follow. He says, go ahead. Do it. So, mm -hmm. all right. Same idea, right, 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 right. But our topic specifically, though, they witnessing. You know, God wants us to go witness. That's his harvest for people to get saved. So we need to go and important. Our responsibility is what? People getting saved, not our responsibility. You know that? So we are responsible to witness, to go and witness. If the person accepts and refuses, and God. They know the truth. Go witness. That's all God does not tell you. You must see people. You must be responsible. He sent the disciples. He told them and preach the gospel. Preach the gospel to them. So you go preach. It's a sad. It's their decision. It is their decision. So that's between them and God. God, He will work. Maybe God uses us part now, uses me, and then later he uses Cindy, and then later he uses Izzy, and he uses different, 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 different people. So that's his. He knows what he's doing. He uses me for part and then another person for part. That's fine. So we just need to follow him and trust him. He knows best. He knows. We need to trust him. Witness faithfully. But without prayer, it's possible. Prayer, that is how God gets involved. We can witness no prayer. We can. We're not going to have his power. We're going to have to. We're not going to be successful. We're going to get burnt out. We're going to get tired. Why? No prayer, no spiritual power. God, it's important. Pray. Faithful. Important. So, and it's important that we ourselves preach the gospel. If we're out there witnessing, telling people, you need to be saved, but you, Jesus, thou shalt be saved. We need ourselves to make sure. Check our hearts. Do I believe finish? Do I trust Jesus, my salvation finish? It's important. So when you check and you say, yeah, you're true, finish saved, go, share, tell other people, world, to go, tell. Many people need to be saved. All right, let's go ahead and pray.